Yeah, you ain't never been on E-Block, bitch. You too excited. <laughs> Spotify, iHeartRadio, uh, or Pandora, <laughs> or Clubhouse at this point. <laughs> Make sure you click that uh, the plus sign in the corner so that you can become a subscriber and get notified every time we go live. Uh, don't forget, man, if you want to keep the lights on around this bitch, man, make sure that you do. Contribute to our Patreon, that is patreon.com forward slash eblockradio. And as always, today's show is brought to you by Part of My East Side, Part of My East Side.com. Go to Part of My East Side.com right now. Get all the gear and all that good shit, man. Uh, we got some NFTs coming and shit, so stay on the lookout for that. I'm going to keep y'all abreast on that situation, dog. Uh, a titty. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you check us out right there, part of my east side dot com. All right, let's get to the shits, man. Yo, 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 you already know what it is. The Live is Cloud Radio Show on the planet. Earth, cuz. Straight from the E-Block Radio Live on your dial right this moment, man. This is the Wake and Bake Show. Got my man Angry Man in the building. Say my man, angry man in the building. I'm afraid. <laughs> my nigga, Buck Buddy holding it down. You already know. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Let's get to this, get to the shits. Was you you hear something? Yeah. I don't know what it is. Is it mine? Maybe P. I don't know. I do hear somebody talking. Now. Nope. <laughs> Come on, Everybody fucked shit. up. Everybody fucked up this morning. You don't hear that shit in your earphones? I do. Oh. It's gone now? Yeah. Oh, so it was, huh? Mm-hmm. Or was you? Who's was that? <laughs> these niggas, man. <laughs> all right, we in the building, man. We, uh, yeah, it's motherfucking Monday, dog. How was y'all niggas weekend, bro? It was all right. Yeah, for sure. Angry man, what's going on with you, dog? What's been popping with you? Nothing. No? No, I just kicked it with the art this weekend. Oh, yeah. How was the birthday? Oh, it was cool, man. Yeah. You know, it was- Typical 14 year old. Yeah. You know, I mean, I was this. Did y'all niggas go skate? We, we couldn't get the bike. No, nah, he slept. Oh, he slept. Oh, okay. We ate, man. That motherfucker crashed on my ass, dog. Yeah, for real, like an old nigga. Yeah, I couldn't get this nigga up for nothing. <laughs> then we uh we went to go try to get the bike. Um, We had to pay for it, so we pick it up on uh, Tuesday. Okay. Well, actually, tomorrow. Okay. What kind of so, bike is it? Uh, I don't know. He could, they call it some type of trick bike, a bike he can do tricks on it. Oh, for real? Shit. Oh, so, yeah, to that kind of shit. Yeah, they let them test drive it, but uh, you know. Tell said test drive. Yeah, that was the floor model. Uh-huh. So, yeah. yeah. He was excited about that. We can go pick it up. Tomorrow. That nigga know how to do all that shit. Some of it, yeah. yeah. I was surprised that the, uh, I'm still shocked that the nigga know how to skate. You know what I mean, yeah. you know, nigga think he's sweetness and shit. So. Dog, you stupid. How you like? He ain't never been or something. Like, how you ain't know he ain't know how to skate? I've never been to oh. see him skate. Oh, okay. All uh, right. I dig that. I dig that. He ain't take no dates out for his birthday and shit? I know he got no, this. No, he ain't want to. Okay. Damn, I was about to say something all vulgar and shit. I was going to say, I know he got the hoes and shit, but he a kid. So. Well, no, he, had, he doesn't I know have he got the girls. He, he got he, the girls. He doesn't have any hoes. Okay. <laughs> he, got, he got the girls and shit. We're going to try to keep it that way as long as possible. <laughs> hey, look at this nigga trying to do some technical shit. This shit is not working out. <laughs> not working out like a He already trying to set his phone up and shit. You got it up? I got it. <laughs> that shit ain't right. Nigga, friend... Oh, spread the through. legs, nigga. Spread the legs. There you go, dog. Nigga, struggling, bro. Yeah. So, Carmen uh, Evans checking in. What up, though, Carmen? Yeah, have we, uh, I don't know, man. He could have had this shit earlier had we not been running from Casper in this month. Like, yeah, running for who? Casper. Yeah. Oh. Friendly goes, man. <laughs> Thought well, you were talking about Casper, Casper. No. Shout out to my nigga Casper. No, the friendly <laughs> goes, man. I see that motherfucker the month of Sundays. You gotta explain what you're talking about, dog, because I have no idea what you're talking about now. The ghost that was calling your name before the show, man. Oh, man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm like, what, dog? I didn't know, have no idea what you was talking about. So that's what you had going on, dog? She's just kicking it with the kids and shit? Yeah, other than that, man, I was working. Dog, that's for sure, for sure. More money, dog. What's been good with you, dog? Man, I ain't been doing shit, bro. I love the fuck like an ant, bro. Like, I'm tired of the motherfucker, bro. Like, my whole body hurt, dog. Like, I honestly, bro. I ain't had no job in a year, bro. I was just chilling, you know what I'm saying? And now, motherfucker, bro, I work all fucking week, seven days. It ain't been no fucking years. Man, I did. Yeah? Nah. Yeah. I had to be close to it. Think about it. Yeah. Look how long he was at the saloon. Right, that shit was just over last year, right? That was year before last? Nah, that was last year. You know what, man? These motherfuckers had it for a year, whoever who had it then. 
They didn't have that bitch for a year. It's closed down now, but they didn't have that motherfucker for a year. Damn, I didn't think it's been that long, dude. Yeah, it's been that long, bro. You know hmm. what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? I've been chilling, bro. Low key, for real, for real. Every, every time I get a day, uh, some time off work, bro, I'm chilling. Like, I ain't even had a day off. You know what, what I'm saying? I work seven days. You know what I'm saying? I helped my dude Bo out. You know what I mean? Shout out to Bo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Y'all need to check him out. Madison Heights, man. Bo's Grill, man. Big Bo's Grill, bro. Shit fire. Egg rolls, corned beef, egg rolls. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean to check them egg rolls out. Egg rolls. This motherfucker got... Man, this nigga got some shit over there. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to go holler at my dog. All right, for sure. Yeah. What else been popping with you, Jerry? Uh, shit, man. Been working. Nigga just working like a slave. G. George's. This is the next joint that I'll be gigging at. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Man, you hit it out there today? No, no, I'm off today, bro. Oh, shit, they got a day yeah, off and shit? Yeah, yeah. They get Angry Man, you off today? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. All is right in the world. Yeah, yeah. Tacos. Niggas is, niggas is off work today. Tacos. Damn, let me check my schedule see if I got to go in today. Hmm. Hmm. Let me check that That shit. motherfucker ain't had a job in 17 summers. <laughs> no, 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 That's what I told his ass. The only nigga that be on conference calls and ain't got no job. What? <laughs> it's, been, it's been a little while and shit. I'm going to go back one of these days and shit. That's what's up. I'm really not, though. Fuck that. All right, so, uh, yeah, this weekend, dog, uh, of course, uh, for me, just same same thing. Just been kicking with the fam and shit, dog. Um, football though this fucking weekend yeah. was uh was good. Yeah, it was very. Good. I didn't get a chance I to was, shit. So I knew I knew that Pittsburgh was not gonna be able to beat uh Kansas City and shit. But a little bit of me wanted like I wanted Big Ben rape his ass to go back to the Super Bowl. Though I did mm -hmm. one last hurrah. I don't think it was. And then one more for Tomlinson, of course. Yeah. But um, yeah, that shit didn't happen. They got their ass beat. Yeah, they did. Um, Dallas got their ass beat and shit. Uh, uh, they didn't really get their ass beat. Dallas was a good game though. Like I, it turned out to be a good game. Yeah. Like they was getting their ass beat from the beginning, and then they tried to make a little comeback. And it, shit. it was it was good at the end. Yeah. Bro. I actually was I actually watched that one. So do you? And I watched Tom Brady. Fuck over the oh, Eagles. Yeah. Oh, they, they, they kicked the Eagles ass. That shit wasn't even, like, they shouldn't even been a wild card game. Um, but Garoppolo, dog, um, I ain't never liked dog and shit. But this nigga might be all right, I guess. I don't know. I never liked that nigga, though. But we're going to see how they do. Um, you know, the game of the motherfucking week is tonight. Look at this. Motherfucking Rams. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got to go for my nigga staff. Yeah. Uh, Arizona. Uh... Murray might be a little overrated and shit. D. Will, if you're listening right now, I know D. Will thinks he's extremely overrated. He might be a little overrated, but he a little nigga yeah. who'll be slinging that bitch. So I can't be, I can't be mad at him. But I don't think, I don't think they're good enough to beat. Um, I don't think they're good enough to beat the Rams unless let, let unless D. Stafford. Let D. Will tell it. Everybody in the NFL is overrated. <laughs> the whole league is overrated. Yeah. Dude. Oh, I thought you was about to say something. Else. No, I, I was reading the <laughs> comment, but nah, he. Man. I mean, the, I, I, outside of uh, Barry Sanders, and I think mm -hmm. I heard him criticize Barry at one point too. I said, "This motherfucker, <laughs> why do he even watch the NFL?" <laughs> he's a critical. He's a critical analysis -er, analyzer, analyzer, whatever, nigga. <laughs> I mean, you like, know like seriously, D. Will, why do you even watch the NFL? Yeah. I mean, I. I could take more criticism from you from college because you know, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a lot of fuck ups in college and there's yeah. a lot of overrated players in college. Bro. True, but I, I don't think he likes nobody in the NFL. Yeah, I mean, he like uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm saying he like. I, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he don't like nobody. He, shit. he don't. But tonight, though, I'm excited to see that shit. Though, I'm hoping that uh, I hope the Rams pull that shit out. I, shit, I want staff to go to the motherfucking Super Bowl and shit. It'll be a tough road through uh, through Tampa Bay, though. Sure, I'm gonna um, throw something on the grill tonight for that shit, bro. You know what? You know what? That's like a hell of an yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I'm gonna do, bro. All right, let's do that shit. What we have? Oh, some burgers <laughs> and some ribs. You hear me? Oh, shit. What's today? Monday? Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna have to, yeah, today might Monday, have to pull up for that I'm shit. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. I mean, niggas, t tomorrow at work day, though, for school day and all that shit. It don't matter. What they got to do with the personnel? I don't know, because the game don't come on till now, niggas, so shit. What they got to do with the personnel? I don't know, niggas. Shit. Niggas usually use that as, excuse, as an excuse. You know, niggas with kids and shit, and niggas got, with jobs. That got nothing to do with nothing, cuz. That's only on New Year's Eve. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> all right, no, I might pull up for that shit, though. But, um, yeah, so good, good games this weekend, dog. Uh, can't wait to see this shit tonight. I'm pulling for... Uh, pulling for the for the Rams, what? This nigga gay, bro. What's, what's wrong? What you talking about? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put something on your grill. <laughs> <laughs> what 
Who the fuck is that? Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> dog, niggas be getting sad. Fruity cake. All right, dog. So, <laughs> on that note, I guess we better get to today's topic, dog. Uh, real quick, though, of course, uh, you know what time it is, man, before we go to commercial break. We got to spin the block one time, dog. So, we go spin the block this time. Yes. And, uh... <laughs> In Boston, dog, we going to motherfucking Boston. Spin the block, spin it one more time. Got the job on your side. Skirt, skirt. We about to read that in a minute, dog. All right, so we're spinning the block in Boston, man. Today, we are spinning the block on CWTFB Radio. All right, that's a long-ass name, right? Yeah. CWTFB, all right? That means choose. Uh, I'm about to tell you. It's a, it stands for something, so we about to pull that up for you. Choose what the future brings, all right? That's what CWTFB radio means, all right? So check them out on IG. That's CWTFB uh, radio. That's on uh, IG, so make sure you check them out. CWTFB radio on IG, dog. Spinner the block in Boston, dog. Big shout out to them, man. Keep doing y'all thing. All right, so let's go to commercial break, and then we're going to get back to this shit, dog. Well, we're talking about uh, we're talking about MLK Day reflections, and also we're just talking about uh, the uh, we we gonna talk about the whole movement. I just want to know, like, do y'all think that it's creating the uh, the outcome that we thought it or hoped that it would and shit? That's what we're talking about today. Mm-hmm. Chime in today, man. You can hit us uh, on the uh, comment, or you can give us a call at three one three four 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 three zero three two. Dog. In the meantime, you already know what it is: the Live Cloud Radio Show on the planet. Earth cuz straight from the E Block Radio Live on your dial right this moment, man. This is the Wake and Bake Show. Be back in a minute. Yeah, what's up, Brad? Wake your ass up. It's the Wake and Bake Show live on eblockradio.com. So you've been thinking about starting a podcast, but you just don't know where to begin. You've done some research, but it seems a bit technical and honestly can be a little frustrating. We're here to help. I'm Quincy L. Lewis, and along with my colleague, Miles Dixon, we've created the blueprint to help you create the podcast that you've always been dreaming about creating. Check out our ebook, Starting a Podcast, Quick Guide to Help You Get Started. Click the link in the description and order your ebook today. Overzealous police officers, ancient laws that have been written over 100 years ago, a criminal justice infrastructure that needs to be overhauled, a prison system that rivals slavery. All of these things are a recipe for mass incarceration. So I wrote a book about it. Get your copy today of my best-selling novel, Those Brilliant Bastards. This is a fictitious account of a non-fictional reality of being black in America. Crazy shout out to my nigga Brad. Yeah. Welcome to this number 12. Number 12. Number 12 kid. kid. <laughs> dog, too funny, man. Did we back in this man? thing, dog. You already know what it is. The Live is Cloud Radio Show on the planet. Earth cuz. Straight from the E Block Radio Live on your dial right this moment, man. This is the Wake and Bake Show. I got my man Angry Man and Monk Money in the building. You smoke some bitch. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Let's get to the shits, dog. So we talking about obviously today is MLK Day, man. His birthday was on the fifteenth, but uh, nationally uh, celebrated on that Monday following. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's MLK Day, dog. So let's talk about some shit, man. I, uh, we got a couple of comments uh, in the comment box. I think we'll read that after we get started, I suppose. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Angry man, what you want to say about this, dog? All right, so obviously this is a day of reflection, uh, you know, for MLK. And uh, I guess first of all, we'll talk about that, and then I just want to ask. You know how how far do you think the the uh, like the movement has actually gotten us, dog? So, what's your reflections on MLK? Like, what's your thoughts on MLK today, dog? Hold on we, one uh, second. Hey, go get me some water, man. 
was like, damn, what the fuck was that about? So I guess I was like, chill you for a second. That nigga's like, one no. second, go get me some water. No, what the fuck? <laughs> I missed that whole oh, shit. I missed that whole it, shit too. Uh, anyway, uh, angry man, uh, what's yeah? What's what's going on with you, dog? What you gotta say about that, dog? Motorboat, you big fella. Um, motorboat. That's nasty. Well, that's that's boat, big very fella. gay. That's nasty. It's very gay. I can't do nothing on the water, too, big fella. Solar water. <laughs> that's nasty. <laughs> anyway, dog, your reflections on MLK as we uh, you know, what I'm saying as we celebrate his memory today. What was the question again? Uh, two things and shit. Uh, your uh, your reflections on MLK as we uh, you know celebrate him today, and uh, the second part of the question is: Do you think the uh, the movement, the civil rights movement, that is, uh, has created the outcome that we expected it to at this point? It created a little outcome, but not the whole outcome. Mm -hmm. You know, we got a little breathing room, but not a whole lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, um, I mean, some some of the good clean white folk. Um, <laughs> came out and actually realized, you know, their actions. Yeah. And realized, some of them realized they was on some bullshit. Some of them still realized, you know, that the world owned something. Yeah. For some reason. And some of them, like, you know, comments like this here, just won't leave us the fuck alone. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I don't what comment is that? Since you already mentioned it, what comment is that, sir? I'm not would you, would you like to read that comment? Uh-uh. But, uh... <laughs> Why not? You want to read that comment? No. <laughs> but, uh... I'll I, read it in just a second. But I don't understand why the fuck they just won't leave us alone. I mean... I mean, how long? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was, ain't, ain't that what something he said? He probably said it right now in the background. It, you know, if you look at the background. <laughs> no, you still... You know what I mean, how long? God damn, will y'all just <laughs> let this shit fucking go and let people live? But for some reason, yeah. y'all feel privileged and like the world fucking owe y'all something. And you, re I, I want to know, if y'all just realized, if y'all just left motherfuckers alone, Mm. How peaceful, not just the black community, how peaceful <laughs> the world may be. The whole world, Craig. Yeah, I mean, everybody, y'all fuck with everybody and then mm. get mad when motherfuckers retaliate on your ass. They teach you in elementary school. If you don't want to get hit, don't hit nobody. <laughs> you go, that's how we gonna break it down? We gonna break it down to elementary school? Because that's how simple, stupid the shit is. You mm. know what I mean? You don't want, okay, if it's crime in our community, leave that shit in our community. Mm. Nobody asks you to come over here and be bothered with it. <laughs> But we all live here together, though, nigga, so. Okay, let us deal with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We don't need your comments. You know, we... we okay, so you're going to speak on the comment again. We might as well read the comments. Read the comment, though. Now, I'm not talking about just that comment. Oh, I'm okay, talking about comments in general. Well, well, well let's, let's go ahead and read, read it, though. Let's go ahead and read it. Uh, so, yeah, if you're listening right now, you obviously can't see the comments, so we'll go ahead and read it. Uh, shout out to James John. I uh, just left this uh, comment. Uh, he said, it is... Uh, I think it's supposed to be it's so much easier... Uh, to blame the police and a fake racist, a fake racist society, a fake racist because there's no existence of a racist society uh, for all the black society's problems and to focus on a few black criminals who were killed by the police. This is sad, sad show. Those are the comments right there. Mm -hmm. How you feel about that shit, Angry Man? I, I feel like you really want to. I feel like you really want to reply to that. So go ahead and reply to it. I mean, shit, it, you know, Jay-Z said it the best. You don't like it, change the fucking channel. Well, you know what I'm saying? That's now, it. fuck all that. We're going to answer this. We're going to answer. Uh, we are, we are I, going to reply. You know, and I was getting to that. You know Specifically I mean? to some of this shit. This How you going to sit up here and say it, it, it's a fake racist society? Yeah, let's first address that. You never, you I mean, there you go with that shit, man. <laughs> there you go. And that's one of the reasons we have crime. Because niggas be cutting you off? Yes. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Get me some water. <laughs> so, it's, it's, it's over there. So, back to what you were saying. <laughs> so, but, you know, it's always the motherfuckers that's not in the community mm -hmm. trying to make reference to what the fuck is going on here. Yeah. How do you know what's racist here and you don't even live here? Yeah. You probably not haven't even been here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, you probably haven't even rolled through here. You know what I mean, I mean, I don't think you have to be in none of these places to understand that there's nothing fake about the racist, racist society that we live in. I, I mean, it, it could go back to the uh, to the good, clean white folk that ain't never been in the. Um, oh, we got more. That ain't never more. been in the. Um, that's never seen black people before. Who's never been in a real black community before? Mm -hmm. And they, it, 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 shit, you got half of them already calling the news fake. Yeah. So what's, what's what's being reported from our community to them just might be fake. I gotta read this one. Go I, gotta, I gotta read this one because you know what I, I feel like. People. Who the I fuck feel is like, you people? 
I feel like a lot of white people has the answer to all of our problems. All we need to do is listen, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let, let's take a look at this comment and see if, if we follow these instructions to the T okay. that we could end all of our black suffering. Okay. Let's take a look at it. All right, so James John, once again, says, uh, maybe if people show more concern with the black-on-black -black killings, okay, as opposed to a person stopping a criminal, it would be fewer blacks being killed by other blacks. Mm. All right? Mm. Something to think about. Let's take that into consideration. Okay. Mm. Uh, people only care when a white person hits a criminal, a thug. You never see no one marching for a black child being shot. Only criminals. Okay. Uh, black Lives Matter are unable to march because they are too busy holding up signs in the middle of the highways, vandalizing historic monuments, looting and burning down their neighborhoods. So let's take a look at that, right? Uh, let, let's go back to the beginning. Maybe if people show more concern with black on black killings as opposed to a person stopping a criminal, it would be fewer blacks being killed by other blacks. Whoa. So let's take a look at that, right? Okay. Um, because obviously, I think that I think that was the idea here is that uh, we have no concern over what's going on in our community. So. We don't have any community activists. Uh, we only have community activists when it involves white people. Right. Not sure where they're getting this scenario from, yeah. but that's fine. So let's let's take a look at that, right? So black on black crime, we we are trying to fix those issues within our you know within our our own uh, communities. Um, the thing is, why it's important or why it's brought to the forefront when there's a white person or maybe let's just say a white police officer who kills a black male or a black female or whatever. Um, I think it's brought to the uh, forefront because when those are in play, uh, nobody goes to jail. So on black on black crime, everybody's going to jail. So like people are being held accountable in those uh, quote unquote black on black um, crimes. Like people are being held accountable. Uh, when you're looking at the the other end where there's no one being accountable, um, I'm not trying to blame you guys or or see that or say that those things are happening. and We don't have any control of them. But those things are happening. So none of that's like fake. Like this is really happening. Um, and then it says uh, uh, when a white person hits a criminal. All right. So I guess we're talking about the police still. Uh, you say you never see one march. Not, see, this, the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, I think that the media obviously puts a spin on, on a lot of things. And, shit, and, and it was proven in a lot of those marches that they were actually people implanted, like doing a, most of the vandalizing and looting. So. Is a false narrative, and that's something we've had to deal with like the whole time. So again, until we get some comments that actually make sense, that I won't even say make yeah, sense. Yeah, because yes. Until bro. we get some comments that actually uh, serve a purpose, that might actually be useful. How you, and black how, on. How, how I, I, I just want to go back to the black on black bro, crime I don't know. Thing. Let me just let me two seconds. Let me say this. Two seconds. I just want to. I just don't understand how the motherfucker could be <laughs> so smart, so informed. And still be ignorant at the same goddamn time. That's what I don't understand. Like, this motherfucker spitting out these dumbass facts that he pulled out his ass. And it's just <laughs> spewing this shit out in the fucking world. And he sound ignorant than a motherfucker, dog. Uh, what is the thing? A real I, white not, nigga. I'm, That's a real white nigga. Ignorant than a motherfucker, I'm not bro. Gonna, I'm not going to really say that they facts. This is his perspective of, of what's going on. And this is the thing. Like, what, what you got to understand is that we, we can all look at the same thing. And we will all see it a different way. Because of your your life experiences, your life experiences change the the color of the lens that you look through. And I use that no pun intended on the color thing, but um, your experience paints that picture though. So we can all look at the same thing and see it a different way. I mean, it's easy to see. And that's why race it, relations it, is a it, tough it, thing. It's easy to make that comment when you're on the outside looking in. Yeah, like you ain't never t take a walk in my shoes and mm -hmm. then say that shit, bro. Yeah. It's like easy you to can't, say. you can't, you can't, you can't just, just spew the shit out your mouth because what you see in your surroundings, mm -hmm. what you heard on the fucking news, bro. Like mm -hmm. you gotta actually be down here and, and, and actually walk some motherfucking blocks, then tell me that shit, yeah. bro. Like you can't just say that shit from sitting in your mm -hmm. living room and your fat ass eating tater chips on the couch. <laughs> tater chips. Tater chips. Tater chips. Tater chips. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck, bro? Tater chips. Like, I, like seriously, bro. Like, it kind of, it kind of, and it does got me angry, bro. Like, I'm, yeah. I, I feel like I'm angry man today because, right. because you spitting out this shit, bro, like you really don't know, bro. Like, you really, really don't know, dog. Like, you saying this shit, like, mm -hmm. yeah, and, and, and Black Lives Matter. And, man, come on, bro. Like, come on, man. And then black on black crime. Is there white on white crime? 
Hell mm-hmm. yeah, it is. Because it's more than y'all. Yeah, yeah. And it's more white on white crime than it is black on black crime. Trailer, if you fucking pay attention, cuz. Mm-hmm. Trailer parts get broken too. All right, so we, too all the time. All right, so we got, we got, we got another comment and shit. You were infuriating uh, Monk Money over you. You're infuriated. I mean, because it's stupid, man. Yeah, and when we, and, and we, but I can't, we, I can't look at it like that. I just want to read it and see where motherfuckers and coming from. And we shedding light on this ignorant motherfucker, bro. But it's, I, I'm, 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 I mean, it's keeping the conversation going. Yeah, right? so, I guess so. He said, why is it uh, that a poor immigrant can walk across the border, get a job, and make a good living for himself illegally, and people that have lived in this country all their lives can't do the same? All right, first of all, this is that's kind of a loaded statement. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that... There, there are a lot of black people who are making a living for themselves and not asking for anything. I mean, because that's kind of how you make it the same. Like you're asking for something. Um, I know. Well, first of all, let's start start there. I know that America or nobody else owes me anything. No. Like as a as a human being, I know that nobody owes me anything. I understand that whole concept of pull yourself up by your bootstraps and all of that shit, right? But this is the thing. Like everything is not cause and effect. Um, okay, so let's say. We do get our our, our situation. We get a handle on black on black crime, right? This, this happens, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it, there's still an issue if police kill unarmed people, black or white. There's still an issue. Like those things don't go away because we got our own problems. Like those things are are still not great. Are you talking about uh, inner city infrastructure when it comes to um, education and finances and shit? Um, even if we don't blame that. Even if we don't blame those things for for our downfall, those things still don't need to exist. It's, it's like those things still need to be corrected, whether we're blaming those things on on our outcome or not. I think that's that's the thing. Like I I feel like a lot of people say that well, if you do this, then that won't happen. But those things still happen, and those things still need to be corrected. Mm-hmm. Right? That's just kind of the bottom line. Again, I know a lot of uh, and I and I guess I say white people, I guess because those are usually the ones who have conversations like this, I think that a, a lot of them have these these type of comments and those don't do anything except fuel the flame and shit, right? So, I, I mean, what's what's the real, like, what's the, what's the real strategy to correct things? Like, I and, and I know that black people are always painted as being savages and shit, but, I mean, if you just look through history, there's no people on earth more savage than white people. <laughs> I'm not even sure if white people have ever owned anything on their own that they didn't take or motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, take by force or by violence. What, what I like, mean, I think that makes that what they call more savages, savage than us. We call protection. Man. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. But anyway, my fault. Let me read the rest of it, though. So he says, uh, you, uh, hold on, you don't think it has something to do with their culture? No one owes you anything. I said that. Uh, quit crying about what someone didn't do for you. Quit waiting for handouts. People come here from all over the world and prosper. Why can't our permanent resident citizens do the same? Your you excuses grow old and have no merit. Hey, y'all the ones keep bothering us. Ain't nobody bother you? Exactly. Like are, right are, now. They, are they excuses or are they just like what it is? What it is? Recognizing some shit that's yeah. fucked up. Yeah. It's not an excuse. It's just. I mean, cause obviously, it's not an excuse because you do have, you do have, uh, you know, successful black people who are in in uh, positions of power. Uh, some in very large, you know, uh, tax brackets, and it, so people are doing what they need to do for themselves. That doesn't mean that these things need to go unchecked. I, I, that's just the bottom line for me. Like, I, we can be successful as fuck, but still, some shit don't need to be happening. Mm-hmm. Shit still needs to be checked just from humanity. Hell yeah, because I know you can be successful and still can't get in a lot of rooms. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You can have, you can, you can th- thrive and, 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 and prosper and still be fucked up. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, sure. I mean, like. I'm, I'm, I'm only being real, bro. Like y'all, motherfuckers, like got y'all knee in our neck, bro. Like, like these comments right now. You still just driving, 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 driving your knee and asking these dumb at these questions. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't gonna say they dumb. You know what I'm saying? But they stupid. Hey, look at like they can try to pull it back a little bit. I'm nah, proud yeah, of you. I'm proud of you. Know? I'm proud of you. A little bit. You know what I mean? Like they <laughs> asking these questions and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, does, like I, don't, I like I don't really understand how you can, you know what I'm saying? You can throw all these. Um, Facts out here that you think this facts and, and say like why we can't get shit moving. Mm-hmm. What you mean why we can't get shit moving? It's the same reason why like like you talking about these white these white cops a uh, few criminals. A lot of these motherfuckers didn't do shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of these motherfuckers didn't do nothing, bro. Like mm-hmm. I've I've known cops just to 
we we done seen cops kill people for less, bro. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, you motherfuckers get into y'all little moves when y'all just want to fucking spew out all this shit that y'all think y'all know. But it don't happen to y'all. But it don't happen to you. <laughs> you feel me? It don't happen to you. Like, yeah. you, like, you, I wonder how thriving you are. Like, how much money you got. Yeah. Why you talking about other foreigners coming over here? They yeah. come over here with fucking, they get all these tax breaks and all this other shit to come uh, over here and start uh, uh, businesses. Uh, who allowed that to happen? What, white folks? Well, not the Trump the, white folks. Uh, they, they yeah, who, I know, I'm saying. They building a wall. No, I'm saying. Who allowed that to happen? <laughs> it ain't us allowing it to happen. Yeah. It's not, they, they allowing that shit to happen. Y'all, yeah. They run this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's the funny thing, though, right, about, about immigrants, uh, like, uh, you know, coming over illegally and shit. Like, white people have been the most upset about that. Mm-hmm. So like we ain't the ones complaining about that. We, we I mean, I mean, they, I, they, they I the only ones that complain about every goddamn thing. Think about it. They didn't got into it with every race <laughs> on the fucking planet. Dog. <laughs> They done fucked with every race on the goddamn planet. And then, like I said, then, then they get pissed when people get tired. Yeah, you can yeah. only keep hitting somebody so long before somebody blow your shit out. What up, yeah. though, my guy? I'm yeah. sorry. And then, and, then, and then it's not... And then, <laughs> blow somebody's shit out. Then it ain't until somebody crack you upside your motherfucking head, you want to call us out. Just with yeah. you to left us the fuck alone from, from, from Rip, yeah. from even from what's playing on the back of that goddamn screen. If you mm. can see that shit, James... If y'all had left us alone back then, James, right. you probably wouldn't have the problems you had today. Uh, yeah. When y'all gonna leave people to fuck alone? They savages, bro. Like they Viking, they still got that Viking blood in them. You know what I'm saying? Like they just fucking like like destroy and conquer. Well, we you know asked for this though, right? We asked for desegregation. We asked for that. And, and I don't, now I'm thinking about it at this point. Like I don't think that was a good idea. Shit, you leave us alone. Let us thrive. And shit, we could have been doing good on our own, man. And that's why I'm saying these motherfuckers be like telling us. To go Go back from go back to Africa. I like, ain't what? never been there. I mean, what the <laughs> fuck? If we did, we probably have Africa booming. <laughs> so shit, think about nah, it. No, because they'll still be stealing shit. <laughs> y'all will, like diamonds and all that. If y'all wouldn't have brought our ass over here in the first goddamn place, then maybe you wouldn't have this prop. Dropping diseases and motherfucking... Y'all don't know how to leave people alone. Yeah, come on, man. That's why the Chinese don't like you. That's why the Arabs don't like you. Who else out there y'all done fucked with? That's why don't nobody like y'all ass. <laughs> And then you get mad, and then every every time, uh, shit, let's take it back to the Vietnam War when they was telling us, get the fuck out of there. Y'all ain't got shit to do with this. This ain't y'all problem. That's they fucking problem. But every time you turn around, y'all want to hide behind some shit when somebody get mad. Hold on, let me see. All right, I got to read this one. It's about education. So, uh, James said, same, same with education. When they bring up school choice, y'all get, get all mad and start protesting. Black students receive diplomas that attest that they can function at a 12th grade level, when in fact they may not be able to do uh, so at a 6th or 7th grade level. These students and their families have little reason to suspect that their diplomas are fraudulent. Thus, if they cannot land a job, cannot pass a civil service exam, get poor grades in college, and flunk out of college, they will attribute their plight to racism. After all, they have a high school diploma, just as a white person has a high school diploma. In their minds, the only explanation for being treated differently it's racism. But what is your problem, though, bro? So, no, so let's take a look at that, though. So, I mean, I wish I wish I could say that my education, even though we went to Martin Luther King Jr., senior <laughs> high school, the best motherfucking school in the city of Detroit. Even, even, yeah, you're right, in the state. Of, well, uh, okay, uh, okay, we, we pushing it. But, uh, <laughs> but even though I know that we went to a pretty resourceful school in, in comparison to the other schools in the city, right, I still know that our educational resources were subpar to those of, uh, let's say, Bloomfield Hills or mm -hmm. Rochester or mm -hmm. Troy. So you can't really, you can't really say that my 12th grade education is going to be the same. And yes, some of those have uh, left at a sixth or seventh grade level because of the resources. And unfortunately, I know no one wants to admit that, but those infrastructural uh, uh, fuck ups are contributed to racism. I'm sorry. I, it's just there, like, I, like it's, there's no way to but, get around it. But see, <laughs> and again, that's no, that's no, that's no, that's no, uh, that's no distance shit because we have been, we have been able to to move forward with less than our entire lives. But see, the, the problem so that's, have, that's always they, the thing. They, they're never going to admit wrong. No, of course they're not. They're never going to admit wrong. They're always going to say every time we try to admit wrong. We coming up with an excuse. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm going to take it all the way back. We didn't bring ourselves here. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
we, we, we like like he said, you know, with the immigrants coming over, mm -hmm. we don't give out these tax breaks. You think right. if we did, all of us wouldn't have one? Right. And then and let's just let, let's just look at a whole a whole other thing uh, when it comes to education, right? So. Uh, the city of Detroit, the Detroit public schools and shit, uh, not too long ago, maybe uh, maybe about 10 years ago, I guess, I went through a bankruptcy. So you got a school district with all of these schools. Uh, you got money coming from the state, supposedly from uh, from lottery and shit like that. But you getting the, the lesser amount out of all of the counties surrounding. That ain't got nothing to do with racism, all right? Now, how dare you? Yeah. That's our fault. How, and it's, how and it's, dare you? It's infrastructural. Oh, you got them bitches, them motherfuckers. <laughs> goddamn, them goddamn cookies. So, so you got a situation like that where money isn't being allocated fairly. Resources aren't uh, readily available. Okay, so let's not let's not call it racism. But let's we, call it something. But we whining about that, right? Yeah, let's call it something. No, Those that, resources that, that, aren't available. Day, that's our fault, though. That's our fault. And, and perhaps it is. Maybe we need to take control over our, our uh, school system and not allow the, the state to be a part of it. I mean, but when that I, happens, is, though... Is the state going to allow us to do any of that? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So those funds are allocated to a point where resources aren't readily available. You, you don't have to call that racism, but, I mean, it's just factual. The resources are just not the same. And is that due to overpopulation? Is it due to is it due to racism? Uh, is it due to uh, infrastructure that has has been built in the in the forties and fifties and never changed uh, to go with the times and shit? Yeah, Any of that, is. right? That's the same as the law. Yeah. So I I mean all of those things are in place. So to act like they don't exist. It's asinine. Nigga. I, like, I don't even I mean, know what else to say about he, he, this He's shit. making comments as if he's been in this situation before. And that's the part that's pissing me off. Because mm -hmm. he sound like, you know, at the end of the day, if he clears fucking head, <laughs> you know what I mean? Then you, you can't make these type of comments if you've not been on this side of the wall. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, it's, it's like how you preaching to him now. How do you know about our resources if you've never been here? Yeah, I mean, the resources you know I mean? You, you, you only going off what you read or see on the news. Right. You know what I mean? You ain't, you, you, like, I, like I made the joke earlier, you ain't never been in the hood, so you. Right. I, I, I can't understand what you're talking about. Those, like these things are changing, though. Um, I, I'm not saying they're changing rapidly, but some of these things are changing because we have uh, been, you know, starting to, to build our own stability and trying to build somewhat of generational wealth. And just what that means is that um, we're not. We're not dedicated to living check to check like the, uh, you know, the generation before us. So slowly. We're getting into the you know the whole concept of building now and having something for later. I mean, unfortunately, we have always been in such a survival mode. It's always just been about what's what's right in front of you, what you need to take care of right now. Um, we are actually getting to a position now where we, we're thinking about the next generation and and trying to leave money for them to go to school so that you don't get caught in this uh, college debt that a lot of us are, are caught in. You know, uh, for. I, I ain't gonna lie for no reason at some point because sometimes education just doesn't turn out to be uh, all this cracked up to be for sixty fucking seventy thousand dollars, but that's not racist. That's just that's just capitalist right there. Right. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not racial right there. Trust me, I took care of that shit. Yeah, yeah that, that shit's it's no gonna joke. Take care of you, believe you me. Yeah, that shit's no joke. But um, just to kind of go back to what we was talking about, like just the reflection on MLK. I obviously a lot of things back then aren't aren't relevant now. Uh, so things are a little bit better, but that doesn't mean that the the absence of of racism is there. Like still, there's that's racial overtones in most of the. Uh, I guess I say most. I ain't gonna say all. And most of the laws that have been written and never changed mm -hmm. uh, up to this point. I mean, you got you got to understand that you got vagrancy laws in place still, and those laws were basically to to lock niggas up. For loitering when they when they ended slavery, so nigga that was 1865, right? <laughs> supposedly, I say supposedly because how niggas wasn't really free till, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know, <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. So those same laws and shit are in place. So yeah, you want to say that there's no racism and shit? I mean, your your laws and bylaws prove that it is. So I I just don't know. Those things still exist, and we're overcoming it regardless. But I don't want people to think that is an excuse. I just think that shit just needs to be identified. Mm -hmm. Like, we know that shit there, and yeah. we know that we got to do whatever the fuck we got to do to keep it moving. And, 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 so it's not an excuse. It's just pointing the shit out. Like, I don't understand how you can't see it, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he, Because it's not happening to him. He said a so-called racial 
Like it's fake, yeah, fake, fake racist society. Fake racial society. Where? What do you live, bro? <laughs> exactly. it ain't to him. Like, what do you live, bro? You live. I don't understand. Like, what do you live? You live somewhere Where? in the fucking. You secluded. Like, Where? because you cannot. Under, you cannot. You watch TV and you just you get assume everything that you see on TV is real life. Yeah. You assume that everything they tell you on the news is real shit, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and you take it and you get your assumptions and you see what you see and say, oh, well they just complaining. Yeah. These black folks, they they just they just they just they just they just whining. And, and like first of all, let me let me say this too, though. Don't live in reality. Like these motherfuckers, like you, your race has never been in slavery, bro. Hey, like, let, let, let me say this too, like, though. Never. I do I, like there are some motherfuckers who are lazy. They and, are and waiting for a, a handout. They are. I'm they not right like they don't exist. And, they are. Yeah. and there's a lot of white exactly. people too. For yeah. sure. You know what I'm saying? There's a sure. lot of trailer parks. Yeah, it's a like, trailer park in every sure. fucking city in the world, bro. Uh, they most definitely check a collective uh, something. For sure. Mm-hmm. Now, the thing of it is if we can admit that, y'all need to admit sometimes y'all ass is wrong. Yeah. So all right, so James John says, I live in Chicago, if you're not familiar. It's ran 90% by people of color, from the mayor to the chief judge. Uh, I got a couple of things to say about the mayor. Uh, <laughs> Democrats have long exploited the black American communities for their votes. Democrat with rhetoric like, you too stupid and don't know how to obtain an identification card. You don't know how to find a DMV. Blacks can't be successful in this country because the fake racist Republicans are holding them down. Vote Democrat and we'll fix it. This is true. I do understand that every... I, we are held down by the Democratic vote for whatever reason. For sure. Um, I, I, I agree with that one. I agree with that one. A majority of black Americans have been voting Democrats for half a century. Yes, this is for true. Sure. Mm-hmm. Have received little in return. This is hella true. For sure. For uh, welfare, public housing, and free stuff are some of the initiatives of a big Democratic government. Democrats' main objective is to keep as many people dependent on the government as possible. When this goal is achieved, the government becomes larger in both size and scope, eventually becoming a socialist government. I mean, I, I, that comment right there. It's all true. I can agree with this. I can one. agree with can all agree that with shit, bro. Like, I definitely agree with all that mm-hmm. shit because Biden, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> fuck, right. fuck Biden. Fuck Biden. Joe Biden. I mean, that motherfucker, like, we... And, and then, for, for any for any uh, political people out there, uh, y'all will get this when I say, let's go Brandon. <laughs> I don't know if y'all hip yeah, to that. Let's go, Brandon. That means let's go, fuck, Brandon. Is that cold word for fuck, fuck Joe Biden. Biden. You know what I'm saying? Like, In case like, y'all didn't know. Like for real. Let's, let's go, go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Like for sure, for sure. Because like y'all, y'all see like that motherfucker racist than a motherfucker though. Like he said a lot of shit in the past that y'all y'all forgot about. We just Joe all Biden. forgot about. I ain't gonna say he racist, but he just definitely played on the uh, on the Democrat Hell shit. Yeah. And, the, and then and then mm-hmm. he got Pamela. He got Pamela off. Pamela. Pamela in office just for the fucking what black vote. First and I, ain't, I ain't I seen Pamela since the motherfucking uh why is he calling Ale- her Pamela? <laughs> I ain't never seen I ain't seen this bitch since the motherfucking uh since he got in the office. Yeah. I, I don't even know what this bitch I ain't even seen the bitch on TV one time. He stand on stage by himself, bro. This is the thing, man, when I think a lot of a lot of black politicians get into the game like really feeling like they're gonna make a difference and then when you get into the bigger machine. You know what I'm saying? Just like Mayor Lightfoot and shit. Like, I, I used to fuck with her. But then I realized that there was something bigger at stake. Uh, yeah, Mayor Lightfoot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I saw that something was bigger at stake. You know, probably some political aspirations or something. Sure. Made her change her tune a little bit. And that's when I understand I don't fucking like politicians. No, I know. I don't like And again, this is... This is no knock on Democrats or Republicans because I think they all pieces of shit. All of them. Government, Good. government is just not great. Yes. But and, and this is my whole theory. Like if if something that you said we could never be able to do, which is come together and unite. At some point, dog. I honestly like. I understand that like people like uh, Martin Luther King and other civil rights activists and, and people even before him uh, got us this right to vote and shit. But in real life, democracy ain't never really mm-hmm. ain't never really worked out for us. Mm-hmm. So like. My thing is, America is a capitalist society, and in real life, I don't really give a fuck about the vote. If we could all put our money together and just pay the motherfuckers to make them do what we want them to do, which is all that's happening anyway. Mm-hmm. You put you put uh, fucking politician A and politician B in that bitch. If I grease his palms, he going to do mm-hmm. what the fuck I want. Love so I, I, it don't matter what party you're from and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's just a capitalist society, which is fucked up. Mm-hmm. And we need that unity and to be able to do collective financing and able to do that shit. But... 
like you said, not real optimistic on that ain't, happening. Ain't no light at the you end of the tunnel <laughs> because it's a lot of brothers yeah. out here with you some money. What? You mean if your palms are greased? A lot like lobbyists. You, you said if your grease are palms. Yeah. What I say? Grease yeah. they palms. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I, grease I, they palms. Oh, you said grease their palms. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was like, damn, that was kind of backwards. For oh, you stupid, dog. <laughs> this thing got on the high snacks, dog. Yes, yes. And we about to break into these shits. This is a very interesting conversation. Though. Definitely. And it's after 11 and shit. Now, I'm ready to get to some of these snacks and shit and enjoy the rest of my MLK day and shit. For sure. James. <laughs> Shout out to James in Chicago. Appreciate 90% led by color, people of color and shit. People of color. Yeah, people of color. Appreciate you, James. You give me a hype this morning. No, I appreciate the dialogue and shit. No, Sometimes man. I like to see how people think. Right. For sure. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I, I think obviously the, the the main thing is to come up with some some solutions. solutions. And I think our solution is to keep it moving with or without. For and sure. that's the thing. Like I, but I that, at this point, we're not blaming anybody for anything. It's just like we pointing this shit out that this is factual. But that's a solution, and that's not gonna work unless we motherfucking do something about it together collectively. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's not <laughs> and like you said, that's a negative. Yeah, that's right. Come on. <laughs> Like, we got to do that shit collectively, bro. You said that shit ain't going yeah, down. Yeah. Until that shit happen, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some of the comments that uh, Mr. James made, Mr. James John, or John James, that might be John James. <laughs> Dog, you stupid as <laughs> hell. <laughs> probably be a, a black dude. We talking about like he's a white dude. It's probably a black dude. <laughs> but anyway, the John James made, you know what I mean? Like, uh, some of his shit is factual, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But a lot of that shit is ignorance, bro. Like, yeah. you, you like... You, you, you. No, no, due to lack of experience. Yeah, that's a, yeah. yeah. Perspective is led by experience, and a lot of people don't have the same experience. So, mm -hmm. of course, you won't see it. You know, see it the same. Mm -hmm. shit. I just said because it's yeah. obvious is racism is alive, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, yeah, ain't no faking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like motherfucker, you apply for a job, but you know, at a, at a, at a uh, establishment, and I apply for the job. My last name McClain, your name is Muskowski. Muskowski's gonna, Muskowski oh, gonna get the motherfucking job before McClain. Muskowski. <laughs> what the fuck is Muskowski? Yeah. <laughs> Which name does he get uh, paranoid? You know, all the names with the ski on the end of the motherfucker. <laughs> Say all the skis. That's how they. <laughs> all the skis. That's how they. Uh, that's how they separate the applications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we about to get out of here, dog. Let's go around. Muskowski. Muskowski. We'll shit. go around the block one last time, dog. <laughs> It's Monday, man. It's motherfucking MLK Day. Whether you uh, whether you believe in the movement or not, dog, this is a day to commemorate uh, Martin Luther King and the uh, the the movement, of course. Um, I think it's also a, a good time to have like these kind of conversations, which is which is weird to me why they're trying to take race relations uh, out of the school system. Like mm -hmm. I think these are conversations and dialogues that need to happen. Um, they're not always gonna be, you know, pretty. They're not always go make sense. They, they, there will be some anger involved because people's perspectives is different. So like, when, whenever you uh, go up against adversity like that, people don't always know how to react. So like, but these conversations still need to be had. For sure, man. But anyway, angry man. Final sentiments on the way out, bro. What you want to leave the people with? Stay away from cops today. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me, Do the best you can, cause you know, especially in the South, y'all stay away from them damn police, yeah. man. Cause you know they all in their feelings today, mm -hmm. you know, for some reason. So, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, man. Um, you know, oh shit! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta read this Go ahead. because I fucking agree. And this is finish. one thing. And I'm gonna finish. This Go is ahead. one thing, James. John, I have to agree, though. He said, "When I say people, I wish Bo was listening because I swear he would say something about this." He said, "When I say uh, color, I don't. I don't just mean black. I mean black and brown." He said, "But." From my perspective, it seems like the Latino people use y'all for their advantage. I fucking agree. Yeah, totally. I fucking agree. Totally. This is one thing that my dog, I dap you if I was in Chicago right, right now. Right. <laughs> because this shit is true. Mm -hmm. Our our black problems become people of color problems. No the fuck they don't. Mm -hmm. Those problems are ours. Mm -hmm. Like we own those. Mm -hmm. Like don't don't try to Okay. Yes. Like yes. Yeah. I I agree with that shit 100. All right. Go ahead, dog. Oh, oh no, <laughs> I was about to make a comment before he made that comment mm -hmm. about some of the things he was saying, and the only reason I got fired up is about you know um, I, like I said, I agree with some of the uh, shit you saying. You I know don't what even mean? feel like a Trump conversation though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do, and then yeah. especially that last one. You nailed it right there. Because it's like I don't like some of the shit. But <laughs> what's up with this shit? Yeah. What's up with this shit? I mean, don't tap dance with it. That's right. it. I mean, get on get on board, or you know, just don't even bother with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like he said, the numbers about the education, about the economy, about 
you know, um, us getting jobs and shit like that. You know, a lot of that in the crime. Mm. That part of it, James, you're going to have to walk in our shoes for that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you said something earlier, like, yeah, okay, these uh, black-on-black crimes, somebody's going to jail, <laughs> if not both of them. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? How many times? <laughs> yeah, how many times have these white cops killed black people and don't shit happen to them? Sometimes mm -hmm. there ain't even no need for a trial. Mm -hmm. You know that shit is. I mean, you you can see the shit right there on film, yeah. and you still want to take him to trial for it. Right. Versus you see a black person do something on film, you going straight to jail. Fuck the two hundred dollars, nigga. You gone. <laughs> fucking trial. Straight, you know to, just straight to go. Right, but but yeah, like I said, man, it's 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 tough for everybody, and you know I just need y'all side of the fence to realize that it's tough for everybody, and everybody's not making excuses. For some people, it is what it is. A lot of people got caught up in the whirlwind. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and it's tough for them to get out of it. You know what I mean? You you cannot look at shit like that on the back of that screen, James, and sit up here and say this shit don't exist. Mm -hmm. When did it stop? Is my question. When did it go away? Since you're telling me it don't exist, you should be able to tell me when it went away. <laughs> what date, or was I even born when it stopped, or... I mean... 1865. Tell me when it stopped. Right? <laughs> tell me when that shit stopped. It's I mean, stopped. okay, I, yeah, I, I, I went to school. You know what I mean? Was I absent that day the shit stopped? I mean, or was I at home sick and missed the memo? I mean, so when did it go from that man on the back of the screen... From him uh, going through what he's going through, for him having his own day, explain to me. I'm over it. You good? No, I'm not. <laughs> Fucked up out here. I don't know what happened. Explain to me God when damn. he went away. <laughs> That's all I want to know. Goddamn. I'm shaking this shit. I, I, I please want to hear it. When did it stop? Goddamn. When did it go away? I don't know. What did this high style nigga? Shit. And when did we <laughs> overcome? Since you're saying, you know, it, we complaining and all this shit fake, when did we overcome? Tell me that. What about that? What you say, bro? Man, I say, bro, like, you know what I mean? This fake ass, I don't want to smoke no more looking at I say, I say, bro, you got to walk a mile in our shoes, bro. You know, I'm piggyback off anger, man. You got to walk a mile in our shoes, bro. Like, if, I can't hear you, dude. You got to walk a mile in our shoes, bro. Like, if you, if you want to, you know what I'm saying, like, spew all those comments and, you know what I'm saying, like, and all that shit that you're saying, you know what I mean? Like, honestly, bro, you, you, you haven't been in a black person's shoes, like, like your race has never been slaver in slavery, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like your race. Well, at least not here. Not man. here. Yeah. yeah, but but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> period, bro. Like this shit, like <coughs> motherfuckers been having their knee in our neck since the beginning of time, bro. You know what I'm saying? In, until until now. You know what I mean? Like like only thing I disagree with you disagree with you is like you talking about this fake racism society, bro. When this motherfucker is built on racism, you know what I'm saying? The whole society was built on racism, bro. Like, like for real, for real. We done built this motherfucking picking cotton and shit, and still won't get no credit, no recognition for none of that shit. Only yeah. thing we, you get a credit to the motherfucker that was cracking the whip. That shit crazy. To that's me. It, uh. That shit crazy to me, bro. Like, 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 like you can you can see all these, you know what I'm saying? Shit that you see on TV and all the movies you watch and shit that and that that you don't think that racism exists, bro. Like. If that's the case, then the shit, we do need to stop whining. I agree with you. We just need to stop crying and just fucking just get on our shit then. Basically, you know what I mean? But but you cannot really say what you saying and you ain't you ain't been on the block. I figured they two G's you got something to add? Yeah, man, don't get tripping, man. Talking about racism and all that stuff don't don't exist, man. Like I just got I just got pulled over yesterday the other day with my kids in the car. Nigga, all my shit legit, my pistol license, nigga, I got all my shit. I was still with my hands up. I told my kids don't move, nigga. All right. <laughs> right. It was white as hell. And my man uh, made me, man, just made me feel nervous. Just both cops came to the car and shit. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? I was just like, what's the issue type deal? And I still feel like shit can go south if I don't, yeah. you know, talk to these motherfuckers accordingly and shit. Mm -hmm. I gave them all my shit. You know, everything was smooth, man, but shit. I was still nervous and shit, even with my kids in the car, that shit could still go south. Hell yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but dog, Trim told him racism don't exist. And what a uh, one man P said, when the fuck uh, we get the memo? When we get that memo? <laughs> right, right. I said, well, what was I? Did I sleep in that day? <laughs> no, you stupid, said. But just like D.L. Hughley always said, dog, the, uh, the worst place for a black person to live is inside a white man's mind, dog. Ooh. Because your perspective of us is going to always be a little bit worse than what we really are and shit. For sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um... James, uh, he said, uh, I have a question. I've always been curious about why do African Americans 
always bring up the past instead of present and future. What? I think all people do that. Man, I, think I think that's a people person. That's, that's what they go on. That's past. why people still have organized religion. Our past that's built why the future, bro. You can't even get jobs. They look at our yeah. past. You got to. You, you stupid. <laughs> you got to. You got to recognize. You got to recognize the past. That's a hell of a point, dude. And uh, I, I think I think we talk about the past a lot because we talk about the past a lot because it's it's been painted as something different. Like we know what really was, but the history books tell it a different way. The uh, the past built our future, bro. Yeah, it like, built everybody's future. Everybody's future. Right? <laughs> it shows our pain. Yeah. I mean, and even not just uh, and real quick, I'm just gonna sum this up so we can get up out of here, but. Uh, even not going back to like all the way back through slavery, like slavery was still going on, but not even going back to being initially brought over here. But just looking at the history of America and shit, the only war to ever been fought on American soil was against each other. So you're talking about uh, you talking about a, a set of people who uh, I still say is treason and traitors. But you got to talk about a set of people who went against the government uh, to not to not end uh, to not end slavery. Uh, because they knew that what was being produced by slavery was the world's economy, not just America's economy, but the world's economy. So you got a split of people in the same motherfucking country who decided that people were were bigger commodities than the actual cotton itself. Um, and that's the same premise that America has always been built on. So, yeah, we talk about that history, and you, you have to bring that shit up. I mean, hopefully so we don't go back. To repeat that motherfucking shit, so I, it's important to us. And I, I think that's why we talk about it so much, because we know how history went, and it's never actually been, it's never actually been like uh, acknowledged. Like nobody just said, like at some point, the government and and I would just say the government just needs to be like, you know what, that shit happened. We fucked up. We shouldn't have did that shit. Like they haven't even done that. Yeah, because so. I, I have a question similar to that. You know, mm -hmm. why why does uh, the white race Act like they ain't did shit. Right, that's a whole nother subject. <laughs> we gonna get up off this motherfucking. Right, up. We gonna enjoy the rest of our MLK day. I wanna thank everybody who checked this out today, man. Interesting conversation. Shout out to my man James John for shot, uh, kicking it with us. Shout out all the way from Chicago and shit, man. Thanks for the for the conversation. All the people that listen that were scared to chime in and shit. We see y'all. I see y'all lurking. It's all good though. Check out the replays and shit on eblockradio.com. Uh, that's it, man. It's Monday. Whatever you gonna do on your day off. On motherfucking MLK Day, man. Yes. Make sure that you uh do arrive alive, dog. Arrive to the next alive. time. You already know what it is. The live is cloud radio show on the planet. Earth, cuz. Straight from the E Block Radio Live on your dial right this moment, man. This is the Wake and Bake Show. We got my nigga Angry Man in the building. Watch them cops and protect your neck. <laughs> my nigga two G's in the building. That's it. <laughs> and, <laughs> that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> my nigga Mark Money holding it down. And this bitch, you. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live. From the 48205, man. Rezo host. Peace out, y'all. Yeah. I ain't never been on E Block, bitch. You too excited. <laughs> <laughs>